So very revealing. Tonight, for the first time, we have a minute by minute breakdown of the VTA shooters' movements and the movements of the deputies searching for the gunmen. We're seeing how it went down from the body camera of a Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputy. NBC Barry's Terry McSweeney is live at the memorial at San Jose City Hall. And Terry, watching that video is really difficult and, and just really frightening. Yeah, and it brings back some of the memories uh, of that day, seven days ago, and the memorial here at San Jose City Hall is still going strong. Some of the flowers are fresh, the candles are lighted, and yeah, we are getting some answers to some questions tonight that you can see and you can hear in this report. Now, I want to mention, law enforcement has blurred out some of the images, but some of you may still find some in this report disturbing. Just minutes after the 911 call came in to report a gunman at the VTA San Jose maintenance yard, a contact team made up of two Santa Clara County Sheriff's deputies and three San Jose police officers move towards Building A. They're moving towards the hot zone. A hot zone is an area where there's a direct and immediate threat that exists to the public. Yeah, I got a rifle. You want me to go find it? Someone inside the building has told dispatchers the gunman is on the third floor. All right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Top of the exterior stairs, the contact team sees a door open. Hey, get your hands up! Hey, all right, hey, all right, hands on your head. It's a VTA supervisor who fortunately has an access key for the building, which he hands over to the team. They enter the building and start opening doors. The team continues to move towards the source of the shots. And they find it. Oh, the gun, I see the gun in his hand right okay. there. Okay, stand by, stand by. Yep. Let's just clear it off. Yep. Hold this, hold this. Cover. I'm going to hold up the body of the gun. You hold it. Uh, hey, I got, so, I got somebody down here. Get the gun. Evidence shows that one gunshot went through the door into the direction of the contact team. The investigation also revealed that the suspect had two self inflicted gunshot wounds, which proved to be fatal. Once the suspect is secured, the officers continue searching for additional victims to provide medical aid. And when they went looking for those victims to provide medical aid, they found two people still alive and they have, they both died within 24 hours of the shooting. That level of violence, nine people shot and killed, that's why people are coming out here and dropping off the flowers, just unable to fathom. Live in San Jose, Terry McSweeney, NBC, Bay Area News. It is incomprehensible. All right, thank you.